It's a bitch. The trick to a good insult is sort of talking around it and making them think so that it hits harder when they realize what you're talking about. For example, you look like the Minotaur. Yeah, whatever. You look like you have a bull's head. Slightly funnier. You look like you should be imprisoned in an underground labyrinth for the safety of Crete. There we go. Convinced that anyone hyping up a Barbie movie is part of the Shadow Barbie government? It's true. Barbie is paying me personally to hype up her film. Losing is a fake idea invented by Big Mad to sell more angry. That's surprisingly motivating. By the way, it's a real bold of Hollywood to be like, the writers and actors have unrealistic expectations, but we know what we're doing. When they got tricked into releasing Morbius in theaters a second time. Hey, is the person running the booty diaries okay? Sometimes I get the overwhelming desire to eat two thirds of a brick. What do you do with the other third? Feed it to my pet brother. I wish all nights were like this. Hanging out with my bestie, watching shows till 10 p.m. I get home and it's storming. I have my window open, my fan on, my favorite music playing, and I'm snuggled into bed with a big, thick blanket and my balak shark. Perfect night. So what if women are dancing in the moonlight and turning into wolves? As if we can help it. Traditional human nanotechnologies, such as yeast. Traditional yeast macrotechnologies, such as humans. Stop. Only true gamers use the Nintendo GameCube keyboard controller. No, but seriously, if you played Fantasy Star Online, this was your savior. Fun fact! Did you know that you can gain extra forbidden time by staying up late in the night? But watch out. I have so much Homestuck on my dash. My brother and Carcat, you followed the Homestuck blog. Bro, just guess the character in Homestuck meant to represent Jesus Christ and was correct. What? Why? Now yeah, you faint. Because every time I fuck your dad, he makes me a sandwich. And every time we kiss, I swear I can fly. Actually, all fossil reconstructions are wrong because flesh only evolved recently. Before that, it was Bone World. Don't ever say those two words next to each other ever again. Sinner. Why is everyone complaining about the font size of the quotes? H! I don't know, looks fine to me. Made that uh, extra funny move of wearing a be gay do crime shirt to jury duty today. Were you chosen to be a juror? No. Damn it. Self-care is wolfing down chicken nuggets while watching a crab eat an onion ring on YouTube after a shitty day at work. Truly the best self-care. Andy, do yourself a favor. Scoff down those chicken nuggets. Go. So, my friend forgot to secure the latch on his magic card briefcase, and all his commander decks are now mixed together. So now he's playing 1200 card pickup and has to reorganize everything. Go ahead. Start gathering. I see Hollywood is now very into the idea of buying something once and then owning it forever, being able to make infinite copies. Which isn't quite the message they imparted upon me in my childhood. In the spirits of their own long-held stance. Can't trust anyone who criticizes the Mamma Mia movie. Like, what the frick are you even criticizing? The plot? The characterization? My brother in Christ, they put Meryl Streep, Colin Firth, and Amanda Seyfield on an island, got them drunk, and asked them to sing ABBA songs in the campiest way possible! This, that, that's literally it! By this point, you have to just assume that you're the problem! Oh, I, I feel so popular. Like, five of my mutuals like my post. Wow. What's posted on the internet stays there forever. Is true for everything except for that one piece of fan art you saw when you were 10 that changed the trajectory of your life forever. You will never find that again. It's gone forever. You have to let Denny's parking lot at 3 a.m. go. You have to think independently. You have to come up with your own strange places and indeed your own strange times to be there. There's authenticity in that. I want to art, but my hands are not arting. 
So now I'm just staring at the sketch, hoping something happens. Spoilers, it's not working. Rocky Chow, do you think you get a post to 1 million likes? There are only like 300 Tumblr users. It's true, 300 users. All with 70 alternative accounts. Frankly, if I'm the odd one in the group, I'd rather be mislabeled than singled out. All right, ladies. Oh, and Dave. Like, don't put me on the spot like that. For the purpose of this exercise, I will answer to ladies. I was explaining my sexuality to my coworkers about how I'm both asexual and into kink culture, and after a minute, my coworker said, Oh, it's like you don't play the FNAF game, but you like the lore. And I haven't recovered. I wish I didn't have lactose intolerance so I could try hot cock without fainting later. Uh, hot cock? Hot cocoa! Hot cocoa! Penis typo. Oh no. I saw a wiggly worm on the pavement and it looked sad, so I said, Oh no, Mr. Worm, you're in a very sorry state. Back into the thicket with you. And I gently put it back into the grass, then I turned around and there was a teenager laughing at me! Why are the youth so cruel? The concept of plagiarism, going from taking someone else's work and passing it as your own, to now being anything that you take inspiration from to make your own thing, is killing creativity. I'll fight people on that. Online plagiarism software flags anything similarly formulated as plagiarism. Like, come on. There isn't 100 ways to give the date of birth and death of someone, for example. This is fucking up teenagers' minds. That's how you get kids calling out artists for stealing poses or color palette. The way these strikes get framed is always so funny to me. The strike could stretch on until the end of summer. Or the executives could pay their workers. There won't be any new shows because of this strike. Or the executives could pay their workers. No more content for us because the mean old writers and actors are- Or the executives could pay their workers. I'm the guy they hit with cars over and over to test for safety. I'm the girl who hits this guy with cars to test for safety. Can you stop? I just realized I can be perceived. This is not good, freaking out RN. Andy. Perceive them into the dirt! So what makes a butcher's knife more butch than other knives? The knife itself isn't necessarily butch. It's named that because it's wielded by a butcher, who is more butch than other food shop owners. Hmm. I see. What then makes the butcher more butch than other food shop owners? The knife. That's what ancient Greek philosophy is like. Is it weird that I'm scared of Sienna? Like, she's cute and all, but... Too cute. She's just standing there. Adorably! Get out of there, SpongeBob! Alright, sir, the divorce is finalized. Would you like to receive your no-bitches megamind in email or paper? <laughs> paper? Boom was mad because they had to play with Jax instead of DMC3. Honestly, he's probably right. Guys, how do I turn off sad mode? Guys? Anybody? Our founding fathers died so that I could wear thigh-high socks, cute makeup, and go to Walmart, and live. See, Mario Creepypasta fundamentally doesn't work, because you know what Mario would actually do if we saw some dimension-warping, hundred-handed cosmic horror? He wouldn't lose his mind. He'd take one look at that Shin Megami Tensei-looking fucker, pull out his dorky little mushroom-shaped cell phone, hit the fourth number on his contact list, and go, Hey, Corby, I think one of your boys got lost. Or he'd just fight it himself. No, 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 he would not, for two reasons. One, this represents a fundamental misunderstanding of Mario's central plot structure. Mario always gets his ass beat in his initial encounter with an outside context problem, that spends the bulk of the game going around gathering allies and kicking the legs out from under the outside context problem support structure. AKA this game. And number two, this sort of thing clearly falls into another protagonist idiom, and Mario is a union man. He's not going to scab on Kirby. Perish the thoughts. Spellcasters hate the fact, but if you just stick your fingers in their mouth while casting a spell with a verbal component, it's literally more effective than a counter spell. This also works with pinning their hands against the wall when they're trying to use some nanic opponents. Basically, if you make out sloppy style while pressed against a wall, the spellcasters can't do anything. This is a very long and convoluted way to saying you wanted to make out with your fellow spellcaster. Andy, shame them. I'm so strong and masculine, my arm doesn't even shake when I'm holding a pot over the sink while I fill it up with water. Lying. It's okay, I don't think anyone can do that. Pucky, you are correct all the time, ever. Even when I'm super horribly wrong, I'm right. I love being me. I have never felt more like a rotisserie chicken before in my life. 
To be clear, I had a bath and decided to wash both my front and my back at the same time before rinsing, so I was like, how do I get de-soaked? Thus came the spinning wee. I know I've been talking about Joltik a lot recently, but I genuinely think it's the cutest Pokemon ever. Look at him. He's, he's, he's so tiny. He's just a little mean. Movie theater attendant says, enjoy your movie. I say, you too. I whip out an extra ticket and we go on a date. Smooth motherfucker. Don't think I can connect with anyone who hasn't been in a wizard maze anymore. It changed me. Mm. Why couldn't the hackers take on Wattpad instead? Oh, poor AO3 people are still coping. Explain your gender in ten words or less without using the boring words like male, female, non-binary, masculine, feminine, or androgynous. Go! Mentally ill all kid who's having a crisis fluctuates presentation. Oh! I do not grasp the concept of moderation. <laughs> Friendly reminder that yesterday when my mom took me to Walmart, she left me alone in the toilet paper section, and this guy started hitting on me, and I said, Sorry, I'm a lesbian. And he was like, Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I thought you were a boy. This was my Barbenheimer. Oh my god, they're so right. Personally, I went with Roblox oof because I needed to know more about Tommy freaking Tellerico. Please stop global warming, I don't look good in shorts. It took two hours of prodding, and you unraveled like an Ace Attorney character on cross. <laughs> she sent on my men, till I called her who can. Utterly incomprehensible to anyone who spends a healthy amount of time online. Fantastic. What? What happened to my dashboard? Why did they change it? This isn't natural! Put it back! There's something so satisfying about using ellipses like a boomer. I'm in a perpetual state of ponderance, ruminating. My mind a mere cow chewing grass in an open field. Motto Goblin, why must we play God? Artistic representation of how the lemon was invented in the first place. Look, you don't need threads. Citrus are such whores they'll cross with any other citrus. They're not choosy. Citrus are whores is not something I expected to see on the hell site today. I'm not wrong, though. They're easily the sluttiest fruit. You don't see Rosalie's pulling this shit. I mean, yeah, apples will breed weird new apples, but nothing fucks around like citrus. So we're slut-shaming the fruit now? Tags that look homophobic without context. I mean, technically, squashes are fruits, but they are also extremely slutty. Wait, is that why certain fan fictions are called lemons? Adding eight hours of sleep isn't enough. I want to slumber under the earth for eons like the old gods. This is a cry for help, please. One time I dreamt Gomez and Morticia Adams got divorced. I woke up mortified and with a sense of inexplicable dread. Yeesh, what a horrible nightmare. But no, those two, they were probably just divorcing so they could get married all over again. The urge to bother my mutuals. The urge is strong, but the social anxiety is stronger. Reblog if it's okay for your mutuals to bother you. Is it okay if I send you an image of Chalky Milk at 3 a.m.? You see, Barry the Platypus, when I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. No, 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 please don't. No, no, no. Skin is just people crust. Go back to the Doofenshmirtz doing Black Parade. Every day I wear my, I keep all my dad jokes in a database t-shirt on public, and every day people refrain from asking me to tell a dad joke. I've had like five locked and loaded for coffee shop employees alone. If I ever write something set in the United States, I'm just going to do like zero research whatsoever and make stuff up to sound cool. It's equality. The lush, impenetrable jungles of Massachusetts. I wear a bra not for my own comfort, but to keep others safe. To keep them contained. For my tits are indeed not calm. As a child being told the moon controls the tides, with no additional explanation, I was like, Oh, okay. You want me to believe in magic? You're talking about magic right now. Oh, okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Of its proximity, but it isn't the only influence. The sun, with about 27 million times the mass of the moon, is always the gorilla in the room when it comes to solar system equations. But it's a distant gorilla about 390 times farther away than the moon. Sorry, only semi-related, but I simply wasn't ready for The sun is a distant gorilla. 
Thank you, Nessa. I had a dream that Tumblr added a difficulty slider, and when I went to the highest difficulty, my phone exploded. Oh man, that sucks, bro. Sure would be a shame if your phone exploded right now. I'm this Bonnie's mom. Are you kidding me? It's smaller than a playing card. It's so tiny and cute. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, if we want to save Tumblr, we just have to put on the biggest talent show this town's ever seen. Hey, man, you've been taking a while putting your change back in your wallet, and I just wanted to let you know we're kicking you out of the grocery store forever. Goodbye. Ben & Jerry's is dangerous ice cream. Capitalizes on the evolutionary human instinct to dig for chunks. Before you know it, half the pint gone. The children yearn for the mines. Probably good RPG ideas. The Oracle hides a terrible secret. She's a time traveler from the future. None of her prophecies are prophecies. They're just things she remembers about history. She also has an even more terrible secret. She's from really far in the future, and history wasn't her best subject in school. Andy, for all the love that is holy, write that down. Yeah, sorry, I don't really consume any media outside of letting this purple fungus grow in my lungs. It's excruciating. We live in a world that's so beautiful. Like knowing my car is in the hands of a bisexual Full Metal Alchemist fan. The peace I feel. Nothing like it. Okay. I told the hibachi guy to make me regret being born when he asked how spicy I wanted my spicy chicken, and he just nodded solemnly. I'll see you on Valhalla. I'm seeing dead prophets! A line that chicken can kill you. It tastes really good though, my compliments to the chef. PM, does Tumblr's status of being the hell site prevent it from being counted as a social media? I used to say I don't use social media, but now I need to ask a Tumblr professional if that statement still stands. Tumblr is the social media for antisocial people. There, I said it. Seeing people be like, I know it's gonna be hard to support the SAG strike because movies and shows will stop coming out, but it's so fucking funny. Like, can I introduce you to a beautiful concept called the million billion movies and shows that already exist that you couldn't even get through in a lifetime if you wanted? Welcome to heaven. Just do it. Like, seriously, you can't look me in the eye and tell me that you have watched every movie and show ever made. J just do it. I look forward to that one internet commenter that's like, um, actually, I have. <laughs> 11.38, arrived at crime scene. 11.38, examined body, signs of a struggle. 11.38, found murder weapon in drain. 11.38, realized watch was broken. Jeff, I swear to God! If you put a milkshake in one yard and crack a cold one in another yard, which yard would the boys go to? Schrodinger's boys. What about cracking open a cold milkshake? As we all know, the milkshake brings the boys to the yard. The presence of the boys is a prerequisite for cracking open a cold one. But cold ones do not have any inherent boy-attracting abilities. Milkshakes, however, do. All else being equal, the boys would proceed to the milkshake yard. While it is possible to announce the presence of the cold ones in the hopes of attracting some boys, the pull of the milkshake is much more powerful by comparison. Mind you, all of this nonsense hinges on whether or not the boys are back it down. Hey, this all makes sense, please stop! You know... Back in my day, if a pestilence swept through the land during a time of famine and flood, it meant that the reigning kings had displeased the gods, and that we risked the gods' further ire by obeying them. Then you took the king out, chopped his head off, and threw him into a bog to appease the angry gods. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Don't. 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 People will bring up fictional murder as if I had anything to do with it or could stop it. Like, I'm not aware. You know this freak kills people, right? Man, what do you want me to do about that? I'm not his keeper. He's funny to observe. And also not real. You know what? You fucked around enough. Now it's time to find it out. Oh, shit!